Welcome to Broken Hollows. In today's video, we're going to be going over the lore, the inspiration, the creation, and of course the future of this build because it's not quite finished yet. And we'll get into that. But first, let's get into the inspiration behind this build. For those of you guys who didn't notice, this build is basically inspired by One Piece. All these builds are built after some sort of boat in some sort of way. But more importantly, the Pegasus, the main build, the main attraction for Jugs, the Unicorn God of Barbecue, is heavily inspired by Sanji. And we'll get into that here in just a little bit. But first, let's go over a little bit more detailed of a walkthrough of all these builds over here so I can kind of show you a little bit about my thought press behind all these builds. Prosbus. That's a word. Prosbus. Anyways, pro process. Um, we're going to start off uh, over here where I'll show you guys a little bit of a more prominent uh, boat related build. So this is the bait and swish shop. You can see that it's an upside down boat over here, which inspires the name Broken Hollows. So they don't have a whole lot on this island to be able to build structures out of besides broken boats or whatever washes ashore. The idea behind this structure was if uh, fishermen or pirates or anything like that come through here. <laughs> Take that guy out real quick, kind of disturbing the video, you know? Uh, come through here. If they need any fishing supplies or anything like that, they can come into the Bay and Swiss shop and pick up some fishing and tackle if they need to. And this is all run by Hunter. He's going to be swapping out his head. He is a supporter on the Twitch channel. Don't ask why he's wearing a bag on his head. Anyways, besides the point, this is a place where uh, pirates and fishermen can come into and basically try to find and buy some loot. There's supposed to be anchors for those. So this is the bait and switch shop. It obviously connects to the backside over here. If you want to kind of have like a nice little seating area for a nice little campfire, nice little scenic area. And then across the way is the diner. This is supposed to be inspired kind of like a by a 50 styles diner, like a milkshake burger joint or something like that. We cross our way over here. It's called Walk the Plank Diner. This is supposed to be the walking the plank type deal. And if you want to park your boat up, you can come into here. Ran by Scoville and his boy Merle. They don't really get along too well, as you could tell. He's got a sword that's pointing towards Merle. But anyways, if you want to kind of sit down, have a couple wobbly pops, some cake and a burger with your friends, you can do that on your way through. Got a little bit of a seating area out here as well. If you want to kind of sit outside, enjoy the weather. But this is this. Also, I absolutely love this detail with the hanging signs. Hanging signs are quickly becoming one of my favorite building blocks of all time. I love hanging signs. I wish they weren't so expensive. Let's work our way up here now. So, if we make our way all the way around here, this structure right here, which is a green tugboat, is supposed to bring us up to that top layer here, but we're going to skip straight through here. And the next shop is going to be the general shop right here. This is supposed to be a steamboat. You can see like the little wheel here, little steamboat stuff. Uh, but this is our general shop. If we come up into here, it is called the Broken Drum. Come down into here. It's run by Fantasia. He runs the general shop around here. We have a map of the entire island back there. Uh, this is where you can buy some dive suits, Davy Jones costumes, dirt inside of a jar, you name it. You could basically buy it here if you need anything. He's got his little owl guy who hangs out up here as well. We got a mudkip costume, but we got like pearls and all that fun jazz basically all hanging out here. Also, I know you guys are probably wondering, and if you are, here's your answer. The way that I get these micro blocks legitimately in a hardcore survival world is basically through the wandering trader, through a data pack that I use that is provided by vanilla tweaks. And then I just kind of add these other really cool blocks basically to the pack. Because I know you guys are going to ask me about that in the comment section, but there you have it. That's the answer. I'm sure I'm going to see you guys all inside the comments being like, how does he have micro blocks going on in here? Yada, yada, yada. You know how it is. 
Um, this guy over here. This is supposed to be like a little bungalow right here. We got a little um, little chicken up there on his little like windmill type deal. He hangs out. These lily pad bridges I put everywhere. And I've tried to basically go through every single piece of this island and detail what I could. I try to leave absolutely no stone unturned when it comes to detailing. I even textured the inside of these areas right here that you don't even get to see. But look at this. I love this. It just makes you feel like a little bit more completed. Hope you guys can like even take that all in there. But over here we have a little bit of a nice seating area. We can enjoy like a little bit of a tropical coconut drink. And then we can make our way up here. This staircase up to where the lighthouse, the tavern, and a little bit of a hotel area up here. But this is supposed to be a boat. Kind of went with a funky looking gesture hat. Another like way to incorporate a little pop of color here. Because I did want to make this island very colorful. And we'll kind of go over my process on that. But it's obviously a little bit more dilapidated. It's supposed to be like a pirate ship. Got some wheels and all that kind of stuff. But it, I've incorporated it into a little bit of a funky staircase. To connect the, uh, the upper and lower level here. This is probably the more complicated of the, all the builds that I actually had to do. Oh, there's a tree there. Anyways, I absolutely love this build because I love this roof. I love, love, love this roof. Uh, like the um, the brick. The, it just feels like it's so complex. But uh, I love this roof so much. There's so much going on in here. There's so many shapes going on. And I adore this roof. Coming down here. This is the Hidden Pearl. I believe if that's what it's called. Okay, yes. The Hidden Pearl. We'll go over a little bit of the exterior here. But this is the tavern on this island. If you want to wet your whistle. It's supposed to be, basically, it's supposed to be like a pirate ship cut in half. As you can see, we got the whole backside here. Uh, we got the flag, the crow's nest, all that jazz up here with the sails out here in the front. Uh, it's supposed to be a pirate ship just basically cut in half, flipped on its side. But this is run by Luscious. She runs the tavern. If you want to kind of come in here and grab a drink, hang out, relax. But you can see there's a lot of like boat inspired stuff here. This is supposed to be a chandelier. That's supposed to be an anchor as well. Also, where she gets her drinks from. These are supposed to be like little anchors as well. If you want to have like a nice like little wobbly pop, enjoy some beverages, whatever it may be. Sup, Sopa. Um, you can do that. So, that is the Hidden Pearl. That was really fun to do. We have the lighthouse here. So, this lighthouse has a tugboat on the side, another boat hanging off the side. This has been scrapped together over the years. This is actually a little bit more, um, probably like this is the only structure that was on this island before Jugs even started to build on this island. Everybody knows that lighthouses need to be manned, they need to be maintained, they need to have somebody up there where somebody is replacing the lights, maintaining the lights, and all that kind of stuff. Needless to say, that wasn't happening when this ship came ashore. So this is Jugs' old boat where he crash-landed not too far off the coast of the island and had to swim his way over there. This portal will be changed. The, the location is nice, but obviously not visually appealing. But this is probably the best way to approach the island, I felt. So coming in here... As Jug swam in here, he noticed something that I'm going to go over right after I go to bed and come back. So just give me a moment here. We back, we back. All right, anyways. Jugs swam to the coast here until he realized something that he never thought he would ever come across. Another huge inspiration from One Piece. This place is heavily focused after the all blue. So, the all blue is where all of the seas intersect into one central area, bringing in fish that can be found nowhere else in the world. 
that's an incredibly important thing to a chef, especially a chef who wants to be able to serve up some extremely unique dishes to his customers. So, he decided to stick around. Hence, the very first build. This is why this whole uh, lighthouse has been scrapped together over the years. This is where Jugs used to li basically live when he took on the dream of starting his own restaurant here because he had to. So we have some tugboats basically attached to the side of this. Uh, these are supposed to be tires. Couldn't make them any smaller without them looking weird. Coming around here, we just have some like really nice views. Coming all the way up to the side here, there's actually somebody who lives on here. If you guys want to name this guy, I want to put a guy on this chair. So leave me a comment in the comment section below for the guy who should be named here. He maybe is old man Willie, old man Jenkins, old man something, dude. Uh, give me an old guy to live up here. So he can kind of like look over the entire island. Um, even back here uh, when he rings his bell and the lighthouse is doing the lighthouse thing. He can warn ships uh, that there's a flipping island over here so nobody crashes into it, you know? Um, but yeah, this is the whole thing. There's even a guy who like lives back here. So I try to make as many like little like areas where people can kind of like, I don't know, sleep. So this is supposed to be kind of like a tarp, kind of like leaned over here. Um, I want to address one of the really nice details that I incorporate into this island. And that is the coral fans and just how many thousands of coral fans it took to basically cover this entire island so i'll show you over here i really wanted to try to balance color but i didn't want to make it too much sup brixie uh i went with red and pink coral for this entire thing but it's basically mangrove roots waterlogged with coral fans all over them yes every single one of these mangrove roots that has coral on it is waterlogged but I've never seen anybody do this effect before. And I went around the entire island, even bringing it up like the lighthouse and stuff like that, just to incorporate like nice little splashes of color throughout this entire thing. This was a bit of a grind, especially because it was only two colors. I've decimated so many coral reefs for this. Well, actually just one big coral reef. But anyways, I digress. It goes all the way in around the entire island. I even terraformed on my way down here. So you can see just down here, like this is all terraformed. So that took some time. Uh, and even to bring up that whole area and all that kind of stuff. I even added some coral going through there. But we went all the way around until we pretty much made it up to this area where I decided to go for more of a dead kelp look all the way around here. I felt like that was a nice fitting vibe for this really uh this big backside plus all the torches and stuff i maybe i could have lit that up a bit better but here we are i have an extremely cool cove in here that we're gonna go in uh we're gonna explain at the end of the build what the future of this build is going to be because i got some really cool stuff in mind but let's work our way up towards the bakery so i did already show you guys a little bit of the uh this tugboat right here it's a little bit more green you're supposed to go in through the bottom and work your way up the top um but it's pretty much a little bit of a bridge to bring you over to this side of the island to the upper parts so if we come across here this is the bakery over here this little hole actually leads down to that cave i was just showing you guys which is uh, also extremely cool. But this is the bakery here. I absolutely love copper. Oh my god. We have a bit of a, um, like, a cantilevering uh, blossom tree here. We call this Dave's Dankery. Coming in here, it's run by normal guy who's got a different head from what you guys saw previously. But anyways, he basically chills out here. And basically cooks up sweets. I should probably get off the counter before he yells at me, you know? Anyways, we cook um, our cakes here, our cinnamon buns. We have, you know, 
brown sugar in a jar and all kinds of sweets. We got honey. We've got sugar cookies, cheesecakes, you name it. We got all kinds of cool stuff in here. So that is the bakery. You can see some designs or and stuff that's incorporated into this. There's all kinds of tornadoes. I know. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm out of rockets. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, we got this, like this whole like bakery type deal. Um, I'm going to grab some rockets. I'll be back in a second. Where were we? Okay. So that's the bakery. I just wanted to kind of make like a really cool like mask going across the top. We got a boat incorporated in the front. We have another like little mask over here. This one's more of a crane type deal. Holds a bunch of wheat. They grind down the wheat into uh, flour and stuff like that. I think that's how flour is made. Anyways, got the bakery. As we work our way up here, this is the Pegasus. So obviously the unicorn got a barbecue. We got to have a unicorn statue. We have the Pegasus where you are welcomed by Kluya, who's our hostess. She'll have you take a seat, take your coat. Coat might even get stolen by a Jawa, who knows? Um, but yeah, you can have some sliced bread over here, a little bit of appetizers, you name it. You can just kind of sit down, enjoy the scenery. Right now, we have Jugs, who's doing a little bit of karaoke for the night, one of his other passions besides cooking. Uh, this is actually where he met his significant other, Karzi. And uh, he's got his little, uh, his son over here, little man, kind of vibing out, playing the drums like, you know, kids do. Uh, but they're doing a little bit of karaoke uh, here at the restaurant, hanging out. We got Sally on the keys over there. We got Sin over here guarding the stairwell here. Uh, Coat Star, who is waiting tables, rolling them out on the trolley. Normal guy who's working tirelessly at the same time at two different locations. I know, right? Crazy. Man's working hard out here. But anyways, that's that restaurant right back there. Um... But they, it's basically like a reservation only type deal. You can't just walk into this restaurant. That's why we have other places to basically eat. Sally, like I said, is over here on the keys. He's having, uh, he's doing his whole thing. Um, we have a beautiful view of the entire island back here. And just like any unicorn, what is the unicorn of the sea, you might ask? Well... A narwhal, of course. We have a narwhal-inspired boat back here. So this is supposed to be a ship on the side with the uh, narwhal horn. The uh, the flag, the crow's nest. We got some hang people hanging out up there. But this is actually run by Abby. So Abby over here, if I can land up here perfectly fine. Abby runs her own private cooking class up here where people can kind of sit down, watch her cook learn how to cook, and even eat some very, very delicious dishes. Delicious dishes. Delicious dishes. Try saying that five times fast. Delicious dishes? Delicious dishes? I don't know. Anyways, you know what I mean. She kind of hangs out up here. We got like a nice little doorway up here. And all that kind of stuff. Nothing to really look up. There's nothing really to look at in there because honestly, it would have been a waste of time. I don't want to hear about it. Uh, as we come up here, We've got a little bit more of a uh, big view of this area. This one's run by Zach. He's currently washing some catalyst because who doesn't like a nice little catalyst at the end of the night? Um, same idea with Abby. He's just a private chef up here. He has a couple tables, a nice little view um, all the way around like this. And it actually gives us a beautiful view of one of my favorite things. This is the rainbow fog of not fog effect, rainbow smoke effect that goes all the way up here, made of a bunch of different colors. Comes out of the chimney of the Pegasus all the way up here. I had I think this is such a beautiful detail. Absolutely love it. Um, it's right next to our lighthouse over here. It's all a little bit more dilapidated. Comes with a whoops. Doesn't come with a whoops. Comes with a, um, a telescope up here. So people can kind of look out and, uh, stuff like that. But kind of gives you a nice little view of this. Let me go to sleep and we can get into the future of this build. Okay, so the future of this build 
is I've got a massive plan. So over on Twitch, I'll have a channel point redemption. And for those of you guys who want to join me over on Twitch, you're more than welcome to do so. If you want to be incorporated into the world like everybody you've seen today. But I want to be able to build custom ships all around this island. Like everybody is gravitating to this island. Kind of like One Piece. Where people have some crazy looking boats. With some crazy looking Jolly Rogers and stuff like that. From all walks of life. All coming together to basically eat at the Pegasus. I would absolutely love to have something like that incorporated around this island. This will be a first step, a pioneer of the pirate area of my world where I basically want to have ships as far as you can see so I can practice building more and more ships and try to get better and better at building. We also have a beautiful cove over here. So this is like a cave right inside of here. So I'll give you guys, I see a torch. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a uh, thing over here. Okay, these torches can stay. Anyways, this is a beautiful flipping cave. Beautiful cave. I can already see it here. Like people will be coming in here. This will be like a little hidden little pirate cove where we can have some treasure and stuff like that in here. Maybe even like an under like water like DJ area. It, it expands outwards. And you know how I said there was like that hole that kind of like merged on in here? There it is. Check this out. Isn't that flipping cool? Right in front of the flipping Pegasus? Hello, dude? I think that's insanely cool. But I think that is all for us today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to show you guys more of Lovecraft we're working on on this world. Next up is going to be the mob boss, which I'm working on something incredibly cool for that. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see some more, subscribe. And until I see you guys in the next video, let me know what your favorite build is in this entire island. And if you like this build style, and if you want to be incorporated into stuff like this in the future. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.